as armed militias attacked and pillaged her village in the western Darfur region of Sudan, 23-year-old Zamzam Adam was about to give birth. Sudan's conflict between the army and the paramilitary rapid support forces has not spared Darfur. There, a two-decade-old conflict and simmering violence has been reignited by the fighting. Around Adam, neighbours were hurriedly packing up and leaving. She found herself alone. When her mother and sister arrived, she had already given birth. We were very scared and I had to leave in a hurry after I gave birth. I had no choice because I gave birth alone while everyone was fleeing and then I did the same. Residents and sources in western Darfur have reported looting and ethnic reprisal attacks. That's in addition to clashes between the army and the RSF. The paramilitary group evolved out of the feared Janjaweed militias that fought in the Darfur conflict in which more than 300,000 people died. The UN's Human Rights Office says at least 96 people have been killed in Darfur since Monday in rekindled intercommunal violence. Adam and her family have now found refuge at a camp in neighbouring Chad. They're among more than 20,000 other Sudanese refugees from Western Darfur who have crossed that border since fighting began. The young mother says that though they found shelter, her child is still exposed to the elements. The baby needs bedding and towels, she says, and the food they brought is running out. Sudan's crisis has killed hundreds of people in urban warfare that has been focused on the capital Khartoum. On Saturday, however, a possible flicker of hope. Volker Pertes, the UN Special Representative in Sudan, said the warring sides are now more open to negotiations and had accepted that the conflict cannot continue. He said both sides had nominated representatives for talks, which had been suggested for Jeddah in Saudi Arabia or Juba in South Sudan. He added that no timeline has been set.